Scene Script Have you ever wondered what lies beyond our solar system? The enigma of space and endless expanse of glittering stars and distant galaxies has been a source of intrigue and wonder for millennia. Since the dawn of time our ancestors have been staring up at the night sky, their curiosity piqued by the mysteries that lay in the great beyond. Over the centuries our understanding of the cosmos has evolved dramatically. The invention of the telescope in the 17th century allowed us to peer deeper into space than ever before. The 20th century ushered in a new era of space exploration with the launch of the first human-made satellite, Sputnik, followed by the monumental achievement of the moon landing. Each discovery, each mission, propelling us further on our ceaseless journey of cosmic exploration. In the 21st century our quest for knowledge continues unabated. We've turned our gaze beyond the confines of our solar system, venturing into the realm of exoplanets, planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. One such mission dedicated to this exploration is the Kepler mission, named after the 17th century astronomer Johannes Kepler. Launched by NASA in 2009, this mission's primary objective is to discover Earth-like planets orbiting other stars. Using a space-based telescope, the Kepler mission has been scanning the cosmos, discovering thousands of exoplanets in the process. But why the fascination with these distant celestial bodies? The answer lies in our innate desire to answer one of the most fundamental questions. Are we alone in the universe? To find potential answers, we search for planets that might have conditions suitable for life as we know it. Among the many celestial bodies discovered, one intriguing exoplanet stands out, Kepler-62f. In the year 2013 a remarkable discovery was made, an alien world, baptized as Kepler-62f, was unveiled to us by a space telescope named Kepler after Johannes Kepler, the renowned astronomer. This discovery was not by chance but the result of a dedicated mission to find exoplanets, those celestial bodies that orbit stars outside our solar system. The Kepler spacecraft equipped with a photometer, meticulously observed over a hundred thousand stars in a specific region of the Milky Way. It was looking for a telltale sign, a slight dimming in the starlight. This dip in brightness could signify a planet passing in front of its star, briefly obscuring some of the star's light. It's much like watching a tiny bird fly across the vast, radiant sun, causing a slight but noticeable dimming. This technique, known as the transit method, is a popular way of detecting exoplanets. One star in particular caught the spacecraft's attention. It showed regular dips in its light, hinting at the existence of a planetary system. Among its five known planets one stood out. It was Kepler-62f, orbiting in the star's habitable zone where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist. Its discovery wasn't a silent affair, the scientific community buzzed with excitement. Kepler-62f was not just another exoplanet, it was a super-Earth, about 1.4 times the size of our own planet. The possibility of a new Earth-like planet, potentially capable of harboring life, stirred imaginations and fueled countless hypotheses. Astronomers, astrophysicists and exobiologists joined the flurry of discussion, each bringing their unique perspective to the table. The discovery of Kepler-62f was a testament to human curiosity and our unyielding quest to understand the universe. It reaffirmed the Kepler mission's importance, marking a significant stride in our cosmic journey. Kepler-62f hence marked its presence in the universe, 1200 light years away from us. It continues to captivate our curiosity, reminding us of the endless mysteries that the cosmos holds, waiting for us to unravel them. Kepler-62f orbits a star, much smaller and cooler than our Sun. This celestial body, around which Kepler-62f revolves, is known as Kepler-62, a star not unlike our Sun, but with some key differences. Kepler-62f is located in the constellation Lyra, a small constellation lying in the northern sky, Lyra, named after the lyre, a musical instrument with ancient Greek origins, is home to Vega, one of the brightest stars in the night sky. Yet, amidst this constellation's luminous stars, lies Kepler-62f, orbiting its own star, Kepler-62. In relation to our Sun, Kepler-62 is a K-type star, meaning it's smaller and cooler. It's only about two-thirds the size of our Sun and only one-fifth is bright. Despite its dimmer light, Kepler-62 hosts a system of five known planets with Kepler-62f being the outermost one. Kepler-62f's orbit or its path around its star is intriguing. It completes a full orbit in just about 267 Earth days which is faster than our own planet's orbit around the Sun. 
This means a year on Kepler-62F is shorter than a year on Earth. Now let's talk about distance. Kepler-62, and therefore Kepler-62F, is located about 1200 light years away from Earth. To put that into perspective, if you were to travel at the speed of light it would take you 1200 years to get there. It's an astronomical distance indeed, but here's what makes Kepler-62F particularly interesting. Its orbit places it in what scientists call the habitable zone. This is the region around a star where conditions might be just right, not too hot, not too cold, for liquid water to exist on the surface of a planet. And where there's water, there's the potential for life as we know it. Despite the vast distance, Kepler-62F's orbit suggests it may be in the habitable zone. Kepler-62F is a world of possibilities and maybe probabilities. When we delve into the characteristics of Kepler-62F, it's fascinating to see how it compares and contrasts with our home planet, Earth. Kepler-62F is about 40% larger than Earth, earning it the title of a super-Earth. This size difference suggests that the planet's composition is likely a mix of rock and water, similar to Earth. But it's not just the size that's intriguing. Kepler-62F's location within its star's habitable zone, often referred to as the Goldilocks zone, suggests the possibility of liquid water. Imagine that, oceans and lakes potentially similar to ours, just under 40% larger, spread across the surface of this distant world. However, this isn't just a wild guess. Scientific calculations based on Kepler-62F's distance from its star, and the star's temperature, indicate that the planet's surface temperature could indeed allow for liquid water. This is a key factor when we talk about the potential for life as we know it. After all, Every living thing on Earth requires water to survive. Now let's talk about why Kepler-62f is considered a super-Earth. The term super-Earth is used to describe planets that are larger than Earth but smaller than gas giants like Neptune. It's not about superpowers or being superior to Earth, instead, it's about size and mass. Kepler-62f fits this description perfectly. But here's where it gets exciting. Some scientists believe that super-Earths like Kepler-62f could have better conditions for life than Earth. They might have thicker atmospheres, stronger magnetic fields, and more active plate tectonics, all of which could potentially support a thriving biosphere. As we continue to explore the universe, planets like Kepler-62f captivate us. They make us question what we know about our own planet and push us to explore the unknown. Kepler-62f, a super-Earth, holds potential for life and is a beacon of our space exploration. So why does Kepler-62f matter to us? This exoplanet, over 1200 light years away, is a marvel of cosmic proportions. Kepler 62f is a super Earth, larger than our own planet, yet it shares striking similarities with our home. It's the outermost planet in a five planet system, orbiting a star cooler and smaller than our Sun. But the real kicker it resides in the habitable zone, that Goldilocks region where conditions could be just right for the existence of liquid water and potentially life. The discovery of Kepler. 62F was a milestone in our search for celestial bodies beyond our solar system. It's a testament to the power of human curiosity and the advances in technology that allow us to explore regions of space once thought unreachable. It's like finding a needle in an interstellar haystack, and that's no small feat. But the significance of Kepler 62F goes beyond the thrill of discovery. It represents a beacon of hope in our quest to answer one of humanity's most profound questions. Are we alone in the universe? The possibility that this distant planet could harbor life challenges our understanding of our place in the cosmos. It opens the door to the prospect of finding more habitable planets, perhaps even civilizations, in the farthest reaches of space. Kepler-62f also underscores the importance of continued space exploration. Each discovery brings us one step closer to understanding our universe and our role within it. Each new planet we find, each star system we map, adds another piece to the grand puzzle of existence. As we stand on the precipice of a new era in space exploration with missions planned to Mars and beyond, Kepler-62f serves as a reminder of the infinite possibilities that await us. It encapsulates our innate desire to explore, to learn, to reach out into the unknown and find what's waiting for us. As we continue our cosmic journey, Kepler-62f reminds us of the vastness of the universe and our quest to find our place within it.